stress And when they lose, we call they phone like yes That hate, if he bust down, he clutch on poles, he lost for me I be fucking this NBA nigga, bitch, you know I ain't never gonna say shit Now on my top, so nigga, what you won't do? I'm with some niggas with no name, when you say something, they like, ooh Don't know who I want, you the one I want, mm. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Y'all already know. Let's get into it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, promo alert. Promo alert. Promo alert of the day is your boy Glock45, man. He dropping his new video, Toting, from his new street album, 45 Minutes, featuring 2 Trill Tune, man. It's coming soon. Y'all stay woke. Y'all stay alert. You know what I'm saying? Follow both of them on Instagram. And follow both of their YouTubes, man, and check them out, man. Now, let's get into it. All right. Darren Southern. Uh, Darren Southern. Southerall, or whatever his name is. Darren Southerall. Have agreed to a plea deal of 30 to 35 years. Now, let, let, let's get into it. Uh, If y'all haven't seen the video, go check it out. Um, I dropped the video a while back. Uh, Honeycomb Brazy, Alabama rapper Honeycomb Brazy, right? His grandparents was killed in a fire last year, right? Um, let's go deep into this. I'm going to get a little deep into it for the people who haven't seen my last video, but make sure y'all still go check it out. Um, Honeycomb Brazy exposed... A big drug lord kingpin from Alabama. He exposed that he was snitching. Now, this kingpin, Darren Southall, or Southall, whatever his name is, he been, we gonna call him Darren Southern. You know what I'm saying? But he been booming and popping since the early 2000s, right? He been a menace to the street. Allegedly, that what the police say since the early 2000s. Now, this man have a $24 million drug empire that he been running. You know what I'm saying? Since 2000, early 2000s. Now, let us take it back. All right. Honeycomb Breezy get out of jail. We're going to take it back before that. Honeycomb Breezy get shot like nine times. Got hit in the head and all that shit, right? So... He bounced back, go to jail, get out of jail. He dropped a song, you know what I'm saying? He said, the biggest rat in the city got a bricks on my head. You know what I'm saying? And he talking about Darren Southern, you know what I'm saying? South Hall, South Hall, or whatever. But um, he said, what happened was he exposed this big time drug dealer. So the drug dealer put money on his head, you know what I'm saying? You know them bricks. He bought a throwback jersey. The throwback jersey was a little too tight on him. You know what I'm saying? It was fitting kind of snug, you know? So he like, look, he go lie. Like, look, I'm going to get a jersey away. Throwback brand new. They be too little. You know what I'm saying? I need something a little bigger. So I'm going to get this shit away instead of just throwing it away. I'm going to get it to a getaway to a supporter. So anybody pull up, you know what I'm saying, that want this jersey, I'm going to get it to you. Before he could... Finish saying, I'm going to get to you. The ops done pulled up, done peeped the location on the line, and I shot this shit up. Big shootout go out. The shootout go viral. You know what I'm saying? Boy, fresh out. Shootout go viral. Okay, boom. Allegedly. Y'all already know he got them bricks on his head. So everybody trying to kill him. And plus, he done did his little footwork. So he done doubled though. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people trying to kill him now. So after that, it's like they couldn't get him. So now it's getting vicious. So they trying to pull him out. So now he really going hard like taunting him and shit. So next thing you know, he get a call, a FaceTime, and it showed his grandparent house on fire. His grandmother and grandfather died in the fire. Somebody did a drive-by. Shot up the house, and his granddad, I think, is on oxygen tank. Shot up the house. The bullet hit the oxygen tank and set the house on fire, and they burnt up inside. Now, before this happened, he, like, say he been trying to get his grandma, move his grandma and granddad out that house and move them somewhere safe and better. 
But, you know, they old school. You know how that is, man. I see a lot of people be like, my my grandma don't want to move. Mick Mill said it. You know what I'm saying? His, his grandma, he tried to put her in a mansion somewhere in the hills. Grandma like, I ain't going. You know what I'm saying? I want to stay right here in my house, right here on the corner in Philly. You know what I'm saying? So, he had to buy, Mick Mill had to buy two, three houses that was next to each other and two, three houses behind just to build his grandma a big mansion on the corner in Philly, in the hood, because she didn't want to leave. You know what I'm saying? You know how old people is. Old people stubborn, man. Like, you know, they stuck in their ways. You know what I'm saying? After they've been doing something for so long and been somewhere so long, that's where they want to be. They ain't going nowhere else. So, you know what I'm saying? Grandma and grandpa, they're gangsters too. You know what I'm saying? So, they like, man, we ain't going nowhere. We, you know what I'm saying? We, we here. We here. Whatever happened, happened. So, you know, the ops knew where they stayed and, you know, shot the house up, hit the, uh, Oxygen tank, they burnt up in the fire. Now, this guy, Darren Southall, Southern All, or Darren Southern, we're going to call him Darren Southern, the big kingpin, $24 million drug empire, he escaped from prison the day their house got burnt down and they was killed. He paid a guard $50,000 to help him escape. He escaped and allegedly, well shit, he ain't allegedly no more because he agreed to the time. He agreed to take a plea deal of 30 to 35 years on this shit here. So he break out of jail and he go shoot up the house because mind you, he want him dead. Ain't nobody getting him. So he went in here, tried to, you know what I'm saying, really hurt him because you know it was hard to get them. You know what I'm saying? Honeycomb Brady had just signed with Jay Prince. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like he moving around. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really in Alabama like that. He moving around, making boss moves. So, the kingpin, Darren Southern, when he did the shit himself because nobody else put in the work to get him. And, you know, when it first happened, Somebody had to be telling because the news already was saying that Darren Southern broke out of jail and uh, he's a suspect in this murder, double homicide. So he was already a suspect soon as it happened. You feel what I'm saying? So somebody had to be saying, talking already because soon as it happened on the news, the news said he, you already know they knew he had guns in the car because when they stopped him, they got him on the intercom, they got him surrounded hands up, walk back, get out the car, walk back to my voice, get on your knees, get on the ground. I'm talking about they treat him like they got a call, like he done killed the bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know they already knew he had guns in the car, so they take a precaution. Uh, they find guns, marijuana, blood squads, he on probation. Uh, a lot of people, at first they were saying he was looking up to 14 years. You know what I'm saying? That's why he, they could, he could have got the max 14 you know what I'm saying? Mind you, he been in jail all his life. Dude started going to jail since he was 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers, I'm telling you, real demon savage. You know what I'm saying? So, um, for that right there, they gave him four to five years. He'll be doing four to five years. So, he still got a little rap career. You know what I'm saying? He doing, dog, listen, the man is talented. This situation right here is just, uh, it's like, Build a sweet because yes, he talented. He trying to do right. You know what I'm saying. Even when that happened, he was like, um, when they killed his grandma and granddaddy, he was like, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna just, you know, kill him with success. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna stay on my stay focused. Which to me, honestly, I know for a fact he's lying. You know what I'm saying. I know how they call him Brazy was gonna slide. You know what I'm saying. As soon as he realized and find out who it was, he was gonna slide. You know what I'm saying. Um, that just, you know what I'm saying. He he, he tell you he a killer. He tell you that. You know what I'm saying? He's a cold-blooded killer. Like, he, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? They don't take his heart from him. So, you know what I'm saying? He was just being uh, political and saying he just going to stay, even if that's what he wanted to do, really, in his heart. If that's what he really wanted to do, kill him with success. You know what I'm saying? But it's like his back against the wall because he do want to do good, but he have this bounty on his head. So he have to stay alert. So it's hard to be a good person in a situation like that. You feel what I'm saying? That's what y'all got to understand. Y'all be like, how do you rappers keep going to jail for guns like this and stuff like that? Now, rappers going to jail for guns, 
I don't see, I don't call them stupid or nothing like that because for the simple fact, these rappers, life is in danger. Just because they become a rapper, that don't mean the stuff that going on in the hood, the beef and all this stuff, people trying to kill them is going to stop. These people going to want to kill them more because why? They shining now. They got money now. They talking more shit now. They everywhere. They could drive down the street. These ops got to hit these motherfuckers music playing. This bitch everywhere I go. These bitches playing this nigga ass song. I'm going to kill that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it become more intense when they get on. So them keeping the gun. Listen. I salute them. You got to protect your life. That's just like little baby, man. If y'all haven't seen, go check it out. I ain't trying to make the video too long, but let me hurry up. Let me check it out. I'm just trying to touch bases on everything. Um, Lil Baby has two artists that has passed away in the last three weeks. I have dropped videos on both. In the past three weeks, Lil Baby has two artists that have been killed. Now, he was going viral months and months before him and Dirt dropped that tape. Of Every time he took a picture, he had his hand in his hoodie. It could be 100 degrees. He had a hoodie on. He had a hand in the hoodie. You can see the gun print. And he had security. Yes, Rappers and celebrities, they trust security, but at the same time, a lot of people don't trust another man with their life. Like, it's like the security going to protect, you know what I'm saying, once it pop off, but security don't know who the ops is. So just say you see one of the ops, you got to test security. Oh, that's an op. You know what I'm saying? By the time she op done shot shit up, you know what I'm saying? But if you got your gun on you, and you see the ops, you, you ready because you know security don't know who to look out for. You feel what I'm saying? They just know to react once. Put like this, they, they defense. You have to be offense too when you're in these beef situations because you see an op, right? You see him, he spot you. You got to be on offense. I got to pull my gun. Especially if you know it's one of these ops, god damn it, I don't care if we in the police station, when he see me, he gonna try to kill me. You have to be offense, you have to be ready first. A security, security is more defense when something happens, shots fired, pop, they protect, get the guns out, shoot back, or whatever, that's defense. Security, oh, it's an altercation, boom, break it up, get the gun back, uh, get, get the guns out, separate the altercation, that's defense. You have to be on offense too to protect your life, so I do not... Um, bash these artists for keeping guns on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, my uncle's always told me, you know what I'm saying? I better, I, I'd rather be caught with it than without it. I'd rather be judged by 12 than buried by 6. You know what I'm saying? So listen, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Gang.